Hi you guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I am playing around in this Morphe 24A and it's called the Artist Pass Palette. As you can see, very, very bright, very bold, a lot of beautiful colors in here. It retails for $29 at least on Ulta. I believe I got mine on sale though. And there are 24 different shades in here. Now, <laughs> you guys, this palette has a lot of different textures. It has mattes, it has shimmers, it has pressed glitters, as well as toppers. So there's a lot of texture in this palette. Now, I would say if you don't like glitter, don't even bother buying this palette because it's like 50% glitter and <laughs> they are very chunky glitters, although they are very pretty. Like the one here with the stars in it, I, I would never use that. And you guys know I use glitter on my eyes, but I would never use glitter that has something that large in it on my eyes. But there's a lot of beautiful colors in here, a lot of gorgeous glitters. The glitters definitely have like some type of um, binding agent in them to where they will definitely stick to your lids just by putting it on. Of course, I would always suggest using a glitter glue, but this palette is really pretty, but it's a lot of glitter. So of course I did use this palette to create this eye look today. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. So before I start out with my eyes, you guys, of course I have a freshly clean face, which is a little dry. So I'm going in with my Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum before I get started, just so that it can kind of soak into my skin, add a bit of hydration and nourishment and luminosity <laughs> to my face. So yeah, I love this serum, you guys. It feels amazing. I love the way that it makes my skin feel and look. Now I'm also gonna go in with my Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. This stuff is a little thick, you guys, but it's very, very nourishing. It really adds a nice bit of moisture to your skin. So I'm just gonna let this soak in as well while I'm doing my eyes. Now to start off, of course, I need to add some brows. <laughs> you guys know that I don't have any brows. So I'm using my LA Girl Shady Slam Eyebrow Pencil. Now what I like about this pencil is that it has enough grip to leave a decent amount of pigment you know it looks nice and natural but it doesn't have like you know too much slip to where you can't really get the brow down the way you want it to look it's like it's the perfect combination of grip and slip to draw on your brows so i'm just brushing out the first part of my brows so that they not so that they're not so harsh looking and of course, to clean up my brows, I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. And I be believe I use the shade Dark Cocoa. I've been using this for years and I have a lot of backups because I just love the way that this concealer cleans my brows. It is a nice consistency. I like the shade and I don't have any issues with it. So this is what i use to clean up my brows every time i clean up my brows if you guys hear my dog barking in the back <laughs> in the background just ignore it okay um oh, lord have mercy anyway <laughs> so i'm using a new base today you guys my girl lily sent me this uh p louise base and i was so excited to try it out i found that i really really like it i'm still getting used to it of course but I love the way that this base lays down. It is really nice. So I'm starting out with the yellow, which is the shade under the sun. And I'm just taking like a medium sized fluffy brush to dab that on my inner corner because I want to go ahead and place down my highlight um, before I move into the rest of my shadows. So I'm just placing that yellow down. And as you can see, it has decent pigment 
but um, it's very powdery, very, very powdery. And later on, you'll see that it does kind of fade a bit. Next, I'm going into the shade Indio Woe, and I'm just taking a fluffy brush to tap that right next to that yellow, building up that pigment. As you can see, these shadows do have a decent amount of pigment. It's not anything remarkable, but I think it's, it's decent enough for a Morphe palette. But I love the way those two shades kind of look and blend together, but you guys see all of that powder <laughs> flying off of these shadows. Very powdery formula. Next, I'm going into the pink, and that shade is called Max Volume, and I'm just tapping that right next to that coral shade making sure that it is blended into that coral shade as well as building up that pigment so it is nice and bold. And lastly, I'm going into the purple, which is called Major Inspo. And I'm taking that on a fluffy brush and just tapping that right next to that pink. And I'm making sure to gently blend the edges so that these colors don't just look stamped on. I do kind of want them to have a nice blend into each other. So as you can see, I'm just taking my time and gently blending those together. And this is what I have for my crease. Now I do want to do a cut crease today, so I'm using my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and I'm just taking that on a flat brush, lining my lid and uh, looking up so I can get that curve for that cut crease. And I'm just tapping that down, making sure I have a nice even base for the shimmer that I'm going to apply. Next, I'm taking the shade Secret Garden and I'm spraying my brush and I'm just using a flat brush to place that down on the first half of my lid, right on that cut crease base. Now, this is not one of my favorite formulas as far as a shimmer shadow goes. It's kind of like that putty type formula. So it's kind of finicky and you know, you have to be particular when you're laying it down. It's very pretty, but not my favorite. So now I'm going into the, those same three shades that I used in my crease, the coral shade, the pink shade, and the purple shade, and I'm just tapping those right next to each other in the outer portion of my cut crease. And I'm taking that purple and just kind of blending it up into the crease and in the outer corner, just so that it is a nice gradient for the rest of this eye look. I decided I wanted to go in with a colored liquid liner. So I'm taking one of my liquid liners from Hendayan. This one is a lavender shade, and I'm just using that to create a nice small wing for this eye look. I really like how that color popped on the lid. Very, very nice. Now that my base is done, I'm going back into my lower lash line using one of my LA Girl Shockwave liners. This one is in the shade Vivid very very pretty lavender type shade now i did notice that the yellow had started to fade in my inner corner so i went back in and just took a small fluffy brush to tap a little bit more of that yellow back into the corner um so yeah it does fade and it is very very powdery <laughs> so i did have to brush away some of the fallout now I'm going back into that dark purple shade and I'm just dragging that across my lower lash line just to add a little bit of depth and dimension on the lower lash line. I'm going in with these Ardell Double Up Lashes. I really like these lashes. They're very pretty, a bit dramatic for me. What I don't like about them is that they're not long enough for my eyes. <laughs> Um, so they come up a little bit short when I put them on. So for my lips, I'm going in with my Ellery and ColourPop Lip Liner to line my lips. Going in with my ColourPop Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Slow Down, just for a nice nude pink type look. 
And after I blend that out, I'm gonna to top it off with some of my favorite lip gloss. And this is my e.l.f. Mocha Twist lip gloss. And I'm just placing that right on top. You can leave it without the lip gloss if you like. You know, you want more of a matte look. But I really like how the gloss looks with these two lip products together. So this is the look, you guys, for this Morphe 24A Artist Pass Palette. I really like the look it created. I think it's very pretty. Of course, it's not anything that I couldn't have created with colors I already have in my collection, but I think it turned out really nice. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and watching me create this look. I think it's a decent palette from Morphe, but like I said, if you don't like glitter, don't buy it. <laughs> Thanks you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!